What is up, YouTube? This is your boy Phoenix coming at you with a video today. And today I'm bringing you some Destiny gameplay, and I said that really fast, surprisingly. And today's commentary is going to be about striving for more, and basically that striving for the absolute best. Um, today I want to talk to you about this because I've I've seen this movie. Uh, I didn't know it ever existed until a couple days ago, and it really, really touched my heart how people can overcome obstacles in their life and the commentary is talking about striving for more uh, I know there are people out there that settle and they settle for the bare minimum of whatever and maybe sometimes that's the case that that's all you can get but in my book I don't believe that that is that you can ever settle for just the bare minimum I mean you don't want to be the kind of person living paycheck to paycheck you want to be that kind of person that always has extra cash left over for you to have what you want or maybe you want to be a that starter on a football team a basketball team and soccer team and know that you're going to be the starter no matter what because you're always striving to be your best you're always striving to have that spot that nobody can ever take this away from me this is mine i got here by hard work and dedication nobody's ever going to take this away from me because i did the work and i did everything myself sometimes it's not by yourself sometimes you have uh f family and friends help you along the way uh, making it twice as better because you share the experience with other people striving for more uh, so like I said you don't want to be uh, at the bare bare minimum like if if a teacher gives you a paper and they say it has to be from 8 to 10 pages you want it to be 10 pages hell if you want it to be if, if the teacher lets it go over you want it to be 11 pages because it's you're, you're striving for more. The teacher is going to see that you're giving more hard work and more dedication. And even if you didn't make some mistakes, I'm pretty sure the teacher would give you more credit because you did try for more. You did not give them that 8 pages or 9 pages. You gave them the 10 and 11 pages. So they're going to see that you wanted the good grade and you wanted that you wanted the perfection you're basically trying to strive for perfection and you were striving for the extra mile you were going that extra mile that extra one degree to help you and yourself while that other person who got who gave them the eight or nine pages they're gonna be a little more harsh on their work because they're gonna see that they give them the absolute bare minimum and they're gonna see that 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 person wasn't as trying as hard as you were so obviously they're gonna go um, they're gonna go easier on you now that's just a figure of speech I don't know if teachers do that I hope they do but I don't know if teachers do that but still it's always great to strive for more I'm gonna take somebody for an example Arian Foster um, even though the Texans lost today that sucked ass but Arian Foster went to Tennessee was always told his life that he was never gonna be anything he was never gonna amount to being a football player he was too small he was too slow Went into Tennessee, had two good years, and had two bad years. Um, went into the league in the Texans undrafted. Uh, was a third third string running back. Had no chance at starting in the NFL. And then one day he came in and got the he came in and got the start because they had no more they had no more options besides him. He proved to those coaches. He proved to the general manager. He proved to the owner of the Texans organization that he was meant to be in the NFL, that he was meant to be here. This is where he belongs. Nobody's going to take that spot away from him if he just keeps striving for more. Another example, I'm going to use another Texans player, J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt just got signed to a big contract, most signed defensive end um I'm most signed biggest largest paid defensive end in the league he got paid six a six-year contract for a hundred million dollars now he has to prove himself that he belongs there in the Texans organization organization prove to himself that he is the one to he is their guy he is the face of the Texans defense he, he can't go out and get hurt on one play or take one play off because it's it's not going to be good for him if he does that and from so far i have not seen jj ever do that he always gives the kind of per he is always the kind of person that gives 100 percent 100 percent of the time 
because he's the kind of person who gives hard work and dedication a good name. Uh, so guys, strive for more. Never, ever settle for the bare minimum. It's not the thing that you want. It doesn't help you in the long run. So guys, this is your boy Free Nexus, and I'm out. Peace.